I don't like our team. That was a quote from Chris Getz, the general manager for the White Sox. He said before the season started in spring training, he goes, I just don't like the makeup of our team. And it was a big time quote because you hadn't heard someone from that chair openly say, I don't like the makeup of our team. And guess what? As I record this today on a White Sox off day, the White Sox are 28 and 89. 28 and 89. You know how bad that is? It's the worst that any of us has ever seen in this era in Major League Baseball. The White Sox are a local embarrassment in Chicago, and they're also a national embarrassment in Chicago. It's really, really horrible. And it lays at the feet of ownership with Jerry Reinsdorf. Jerry Reinsdorf has decided that this is good enough. It's a bald club, by the way. Just a few years ago, that was in the playoffs under Tony La Russa. And now look at the team. They fired Pedro Grafal, the manager today, as if it's his fault that the White Sox are in this position. The White Sox had things going their way under Tony La Russa. Tony got sick and the team leveled off, but it leveled off and it got worse and it got worse. Could you imagine? It's August 8th and the team is 20 eight and 89. So they made some changes and they fired some coaches and Pedro Gafal was fired. Pedro Gafal was never going to win here. The team was not going to win the World Series under Pedro Gafal. And so now Grady Sizemore, the old Cleveland Indian, as he was called at the time, uh, is now the interim manager for the Chicago White Sox. And Chris Getz says they're going to go outside the organization to find new manager. Can I just tell you something? The Sox are not turning anything around anytime soon. They're just not. Ownership's not willing to spend. You need to continue to develop your minor league system. You need to have a way of playing. You need a new manager. There's so many things that need to be happening with this team to even think about being a contender again. But just understand, think about it if you were the owner. How embarrassed would you be when you go to the owners' meetings or around friends and go to the ballpark that you are the laughing stock of Major League Baseball. You, one of the big faces of owners in baseball, is being laughed at because your team is the worst that we have seen ever in Major League Baseball. You had to go back to the 1800s to see records like this. And the Sox are dead last in almost every key category around. It's a, it's really, really bad. As someone that grew up on the South Side that was a White Sox fan all his life. Let me just tell you that this is rock bottom. Now, how do you get out of it? People say new ownership. That very well could happen. But even with new ownership, the thing is, is that you have to spend money. You have to develop players. And you have to find a way to consistently contend in Major League Baseball. No matter what, when it comes to Jerry Ryan's door, just remember who got Michael Jordan. Just remember. It was Rod Thorne that got Michael Jordan, not Jerry Krause or Jerry Reinsdorf. You know, without Michael Jordan, the Bulls have no championships and they have the one World Series pop-up championship in 2005. Just remember that. Jerry Reinsdorf inherited Michael Jordan and those six championships and those players. Rod Thorne is the one who made the deal, not Jerry Krause and Jerry Reinsdorf. So if you took it all away, it would just be the one lone pop-up championship, which I'm grateful for as a Sox fan for 2005. But just get it, that this is the worst that we've ever seen. And they fired Pedro Grafal today. They went through a lot of losing, a lot of embarrassing losing. They finally broke their 21-game losing streak, and then they sent Grafal out the door. This is a disaster and the worst in sports, without question.